Praise the Lord. My name is My name is Go Ivelin. I'm coming from Melo. What brought me here is the problem of sickness that I received my healing through the TV with Papa and through the anointed oil. It was uh, this January on the 4th. I get up on my bed in the morning. I went to ease myself. I find out that I was having pain under my stomach and on my waist. So when I bend down to ease myself, I found out when I was uh, I wanted to urinate, then I feel a sharp pain right in my vagina. Then when I get up, I feel somehow. The next day, I went to the hospital. When I went and meet the doctor, they make all what uh, they can do. After that, they give me the medication that should go house and continue to be taking it. I took it about two or three days. The pain increased. Instead of decreasing, the pain was increasing more and more in such a way that I can't stand up, I can't sit, only to bend my body like this. And in my vagina, it was if there is something like nail that they are digging me inside. Then it will make a few minutes, I will go outside to go and urinate. When I will urinate, it will come out the blood. I will return again to the hospital. I explained to the doctor. The doctor did another test. Then they, they all the tests, they were not seeing anything. The doctor said, if you can go and take this treatment, you will know you receive your healing. It means that they will send you now in another hospital in Kongsamba. I say, ha, when I go outside, I say, but I have a God. I begin to ask questions to myself. God, I'll be serving you. I'll be doing what? You ask me to do anything that you give me in my revelation to do. But what is happening to me? So when I went home, a, a sister who came and testified here with the daughter who came from America, she called for me. Say, Ma, I'm going in Bamenda to meet Major. I said, Ma, I'm suffering. Oh, I'm dying. Something is digging me in my vagina in such a way that I can't even stand up. I can't even sit. I told her that when you come, connect to a uh, major by bringing me the anointing oil. So on Saturday, the 11th, there was here. So I was in, in my working place. When the service start, I, when the service start, I just connect myself to the TV. So when major came now, he went to the prayer line. Major was speaking as, see major know that I have a problem. He was speaking a pointy finger. That finger was coming only on my face. I said, I have to receive this healing now. Major said, whatever thing you are going through, whether it is pain, whether it is sickness, if you believe that you will heal, you will heal now in Jesus' name. I say, amen. I carry my hand and place on the TV. After that, I feel relief, the pain, the thing that was digging me in my vagina. I couldn't hear it again. I stood up. I carry my carton of mesh. I turned it on the floor because I could stand, I could bend myself just to tie myself one place. When I shed, I just turned the carton of the mesh on the floor to see whether this healing has uh, started taking place. As I, I pick those mesh all and pack it. So after that, then I continue to pray. Sunday, I still continue to pray with the TV with Papa Major. The next day, now, uh, uh, Monday, the sister came. I went to her. I collected the anointed oil. I started drinking it, using it, putting it in my vagina. The blood ceased and the pain went. I am free. In Jesus' name. What are the things that you could not do before? Just uh, bend and then you skip at the things that you could not do before. Show, show people of God. I could not sit. I can't even turn myself. Only to sit and twist myself like this. But now I can jump, I can bend, I can do all things. By like the grace of God. I will advise each one of you sitting here, even the viewers, that if you have, you are having a challenge in your life, don't run away from God. Come closer to God. 
Because this evil attack in my life has made me to think otherwise. Because I have lost all my elders because of this evil attack. No one believed God, but God will reveal everything to me when I will tell them. No one will believe unto. All of them are dead. If you can see yesterday, Major prophesied to me that it is God that has saved you in December. You were sick this December, even in 2009. It, it said many things yesterday, but I know that it was the grace of God that make me to be alive today. I could have been a dead body alive. Um, my brothers and sisters, they have already gone. So I want to thank God of this grace. And I'll be crying to God that I'm serving you problem every day. I cannot testify when the time of testimony comes. Something else will come and happen in a way that I will start to cry. But I'm thanking God because I have stand on this altar today to testify, to put the devil to shame. And will continue to testify in Jesus' name. Celebrate the God of signs and wonders. The Bible tells us in 2 Chronicles 20, 20 that believe in the Lord your God, you will stand firm. Believe in your prophet, you will succeed. That is the reason I'm here today because I believe in major and I have succeeded to come out of this mess. And he also tell us again in Matthew chapter 10 verse 40 to 42 that believe in the Lord your God you will receive and believe in your prophet you will receive the prophet reward. I have sold something and tomorrow I have, to, I have tell major that tomorrow I will still send something to come. In this order. Amen. Amen.